Hey everyone, this is Max with Asian Geek Squad and today we are going to walk you through taking different types of screenshots on your Windows 10 laptop. Um, the tool that's included with the OS is called Snipping Tool and I actually use it quite often so I have it pinned to the taskbar and if you use it quite often as well you can just right click on the app and then from there you can pin it to your taskbar. Um, there's four different modes um, of taking a screenshot um, with this particular tool. First is the freeform snip, which works pretty much like a Galaxy Note where you just draw um, using your mouse as opposed to an S Pen and scribble and save a particular image. So here, well, that's not very good. Let's do another one. There you go. So And then from here, you can click on this floppy disk um, to save your work, your screenshot. Normally I save on the desktop. And the next one they have is called rectangular snip, which is probably the most common one you'll use. And the particular screen turns white to know that it, the screenshot mode is on. You can turn this off in the settings mode if you prefer that it doesn't turn white, whitish in the background. And let's try one of these right here new rectangular snip grandma and from here like i said you can save it from anywhere and you can send the message or send the photo so let's go ahead and send this photo um, to one of our friends here And here I'm actually using Google Voice. Um, I'm normally on my laptop, but this is how I send text messages. 320, see you there. There you go, it has been sent. Now there's other um, modes as well. Let's go into it. Let's exit this right click. The third one is Window Snip. Theoretically, it's supposed to switch between windows. So if you want to take only, um, only a screenshot of everything that you're working on in Chrome and Bing, you can switch between for back and forth and it should only capture one or the other. But to be honest, this works about half the time. It doesn't work as well as they would like it to. So theoretically, you should be able to hover between each one and take a shot of each one, but it doesn't really work that well. But my suggestion would be to go ahead and use um, either the rectangle, rectangular snip and take the actual screenshot that you want, like that one, or go ahead and take a full screen snip. And then from here, you can also edit and crop from there as well. All right. Well, from here, you actually have different ways of customizing. You can write. Um, not very useful if you have a mouse but fortunately now that most Windows 10 devices have a touch screen this will can come in very handy let's see here so now I'm writing with my hand this one and now I can share that with whomever I want as soon as you save it to save it locally. All right, well, that's a quick overview on how to take a screenshot on Windows 10. We've shown you different ways, taking a window, annotating, and saving and sharing. All right, well, if you guys have any questions, feel free to tweet us and ask us a question. That's Asian Geek Squad. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.